G'day guys and welcome back to part 3 of how to bed your CZ455 We've had the rifle sitting here with the uh, bedding compound in there for a couple of days So it should be uh, fully cured I've already um, undone the uh, threaded rod from the bottom As you can see here A little bit of um, the bedding compound on the edge of the threads so that's hence the reason why you need to get a pair of vice grips to undo, undo those. Undo those. When I did, I had part of the dam that I made here fall out with it. But uh, here we go, guys. We're about to try and break the uh, the action out of the stock and, and see what we're left with. So let's have a look, see, eh? All right. That came out easy enough. Okay, so quite happy. I didn't get any compound up in there. The tape's fallen off. Looks like the tape's gone inside the stock. Happy as Larry. We haven't got an ounce of uh, the bedding compound anywhere that we didn't want it. That That is absolutely perfect. Anyway, guys, let's have a look at the stock. Yeah, wow. That's turned out awesome. That couldn't have turned out any better at all. Just all the finishing work to do now there, guys. So if you can have a look at the bedding there, I'll have to try and knock the uh, the dam out of that one. Travelled a little bit further up the barrel channel than I wanted it, but I'm probably going to have to, uh, to shorten that back a little bit, that bedding compound, probably back to around about here, just leave a little bit of barrel support at the start, and, uh, and that'll be it. So uh, anyway guys, I'll start the cleanup process. All the cleanup process is going to entail is getting a drill, drilling through the actual um, the compound at the bottom there, and then basically filing out the magazine well and the trigger well. Uh, the only other thing I'll have to do, obviously, will be to um, to knock out the dam here where the bolt recess goes. And uh, once we do that, I'll file it all up and I'll, uh, I'll go through and, and do all that. I won't show the full cleanup procedure. It's just basically a whole lot of sanding. You have to sand the top flat and then peel the tape off once it starts to get down to the electrical tape. And then, uh, then you'll go to some smaller grit sandpaper just to, to do that final finishing. And then just clean up a few edges, like around here at the side here. And uh, this this thing will be mint, guys. We're not finished with this. This thing will be mint. So anyway, we'll we'll turn off the camera, and uh, I'll go through and I'll do all that process, and uh, I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all finished. I'm pretty sure you guys know what I mean by, you know, drilling out the uh, the magazine well and filing out the magazine well. That's going to take some time, so I'm not going to record that. This one I'll make a little bit shorter video. Uh, I just wanted to show that breaking out process, and just what you're left with, and then what you have to what what you're left to work with from there. So um, we may show a little bit of it, but um, I think this, we'll, we'll just show the finished product, guys. I mean, uh, it's pretty self-explanatory from here on in. You've obviously got to dig out all the uh, putty out of your uh, out of your other dams that's made up in the action as well. So it's a quite lengthy cleanup process in this. Um, I'll go through and I'll tell you some of the products that you can use to, to clean it up. I'll be using some needle files to uh, to file the inside of the magazine well and get that all nice and smooth again and everything else. Um, but yeah, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory from here. So that has turned out absolutely perfect. That's probably one of the best I've, I've, I've done so far. So I'm very, very, very impressed with that. That couldn't have turned out any better. All right, guys. I'll come back when... Uh, we're on the uh, finished product, and I'll give you a look before we uh, bolt everything to, uh, together with the rifle again. So, all right, guys, I'll be back in a little while. I'll, uh, I'll catch up with you then. Okay, guys, so we've done all our clean up, and uh, we're now ready to turn and I've, I've reassembled all the uh, trigger group and everything and that on the on the action. So I'll now show you the areas I need to clean up. As you can see, this is all full of putty in through here before. You will have to relieve a little section here, a little section here, and on the other side as well. That's where the, um, the actual trigger group sits into. You only need to file that back just a little bit because it will leave a little bit of a bulge where um, we turn around and uh, had, had that putty in before we, you know, we left that little bit of a divot just to allow a little bit to move into. 
So that's just a little bit of finishing work. I mean, it's better to be that than uh, and safe than sorry than to uh, to not have enough bedding in those areas. So as you can see, we've got a really nice fill right in around that pillar, around the front. You can see that's where the uh, the front um, barrel screws hold it into place, and we've got a nice even bed all the way through. Absolutely perfect. So. Now the one thing I do want to show you is this sear engagement pin. When you go to put it in, there's a small spring and a small bell bearing. And that can be a real pain in the ass to, uh, to put in. Sometimes you can fiddle with it for hours and other times you'll get it within five minutes. I was lucky this time around, it took me about half, half a dozen goes and I got it in. But um, anyway, now that's the, uh, the finished bedding job. We'll now show you how nice and snug of a fit the two are together when we drop it in. So as you can see, there is no movement whatsoever, and I'm forcing that quite a bit. There is no movement backwards and forwards or side to side. That action is completely locked in there solid now. So the only thing left to do is to flip it over and to take our, our little floor plate. I'm going to put that in. Then we're going to put our bottom metal on. And our rear screw. And uh, we'll get that started. And that goes in easy. As you guys know, whoever, if you've played with these before, you know that those action screws can really be a shit to get in. They can really be a pain in the butt. Um, you know, you got to try and wiggle them and jiggle them and carry on. Once you've turned on these brass pillars and now that you've now bedded it, these screws just line up perfectly. Because we use that threaded, threaded bar, when we pulled it down into the, uh, into, the, into the stock, that pulled down absolutely perfect. Absolutely spot on. So now when we pull it down tight, because we've got those brass pillars, we now don't have to worry about splitting the stock by over tightening it and it allows us to tight it a little bit better than uh, what we could previously factory with the uh, with the timber because of that uh, splitting issue that we were having before with the uh, with the standard timber because we now got pillars there we can now tighten these down you know a good 10 inch pounds or more tighter than what we would have before where we would have tightened them down to about 25 inch pounds before we can now take them down to about 35 because we have those brass pillars we could probably even take them to 40 if we wanted to but uh we're just going to net these up by hand and uh the next thing to do now guys is to uh take the old girl back up the range with some different ammunition and uh see how it runs because it'll obviously uh shoot a little bit better again since we've changed the harmonics so uh, we found when we done that ammo test when I first bought the rifle that the, the uh, CCI VMAX and the uh, and the Hornady VMAX were the uh, the two best to um, to shoot through. Being this is predominantly um, going to be my rifle for shooting foxes, I want to run a, a heavier grain. I, I want to run a um, a 20 grain. So I've got a couple of boxes of CCI 20 grain ammunition and a couple of boxes of uh, Hornady VMAX just basically because that's all that's really available in my current area at the moment so uh, that's that's what we're going to give a run for so we'll give that a try up the range on the weekend I'll get some recording of that and uh, we'll show you how uh, how much better groups is printing actually before I go too far I'll just show you guys that uh, the barrel is now fully refloated so that barrel is now fully free floated all the way back to the action. So there you have it guys, how to bed your CZ 455. Very simple to do. Uh, you know, it, it just takes um, a little bit of time and a little bit of patience and, and just about anybody can do it. So um, all right guys, until the next vid, happy and safe hunting and as always, take care. Cheers guys.